Yo, what's up guys and guys, JakeBlogSec here, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a lightsaber effect in the free version of HitFilm, HitFilm Express. The newest version is HitFilm Express 15, and they have some new updates. Now, I used to have dark mode, now I have white, uh, the light mode, because I had to re-sign in, so it might be blinding for you, but, uh, yeah. But, this is stock footage used, uh, given to me from FX Home, the creators of HitFilm, and then... We're going to put the lightsaber on it. So, let's get into it. So, first thing you need to do is download the project files, which I will link in the description below. It is hipfilm.com slash filesense lightswords.zip. It is just the lightsaber project file that has the footage and actually a final version of it in there. So, um, grab that in the description below to grab the footage. Or you can use your own personal footage, but if you're just testing this out for the first time, I would suggest using this basic and easy to use footage. So next is download HitFilm Express, if you don't have it downloaded, but if you do, all you have to do is really click into it, and boom, you should be into it. Alright, here we are. After loading in here, make sure it's activated so you have no watermark, then hit new. We're going to do this at 1080p at 25 frames per second instead, because the footage is shot at that. Hit OK. And then you should load up into this. Now, it might be darker if you're using an older version of HitFilm, because HitFilm 15 brings in this new light mode, which not a lot of people like. But if you're using the older versions, or you've had the older versions, you can get this dark mode. Now, I'm going to close this export tab, because I don't need it right now. First thing you're going to do is go to Media, and import your footage. You can click Import here, or just drag it from your thing. I'm going to do the Swing.mp4 that is given to us, and I'm going to bring it into our editor timeline. Click Yes. Then I'm going to zoom in on the timeline and scroll through to make sure all the footage is there. Good, that's the entire clip. Then I'm going to click on it, right click, make a composite shot. Select a clip and leave here. Once you make a composite shot, we are going to need to make the light, the, the, the light, the lightsaber, the actual blade itself. So click new layer and add, new layer and add a plane. Make the plane black, and name it Blade. After naming it Blade, you go down. We can close the swing MP4. Go into the effects and search Light Sword. Thankfully, HitFilm Express has incredible Light Sword things, and we're going to use the Light Sword 2 point auto layer only effect, which will make this blue thing. Then, go to controls, which actually, I'm going to bring mine up here with effects. And I am going to change the blend mode from normal to add, so it is added to the scene. Then, it looks like it's actually a part of the scene. If you zoom in, you could actually see ripples. And the effects match the resolution of the actual screen itself. So, yeah, and if you mess that up, just hit scale fit, and boom, you're back into your footage. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to select the light sword here. I'm going to whoops, right click and drag my footage over here so I can look through. Once I select here, I'm going to grab the hilt, which is the bottom. Bring it to where the hilt would meet up in the footage. Then grab the tip and bring it to where the t tip would meet up in the footage. Once you've done that, Make sure the hilt is still very well aligned, just so it works and is not covering your actor's hand. Then, go back to scale to fit. Actually, maybe zoom in just a little bit. Round there, that should work. Now, we want it to, since this is, let's say this actress is a Padawan. Someone who is just learning. Well, usually Padawans have blue lightsabers. So the thing we're going to do is we're going to go color here. And we want the core to be white. More more white, but not completely white like that. We want it to be a little bit like a bluish white. And then hit OK. That already looks better. Then, we want to feather it at 100%. And the stability, we can if you want to have it like the prequels, so it's more stable, then just keep it at 100%. Or if you want to have it like the original trilogy... 
bringing it over to 80%, so it flickers a little bit more. But if you want it more like Kylo Ren's thing, maybe bring it down from 25% or below. But I want it to be like the original trilogy, so I will do 80. Then, open up Inner Glow. That's the innermost glow here. And we're going to bring up the width. We're going to actually bring down the width to right about there. Then, bring the alpha down to 0 0.6. And maybe bring it down to 0 0.3. 0 0.3 would be best. And then you can make it a little bit wider. After that, choose a lighter shade of blue. And you'll have that. Then on the outer glow, you'll use the darker shade of blue. We'll bring the alpha up to 6. At about there. And we'll bring the width to about 150. So the glow, the actual glow, is reacting with the environment. Because lightsaber is very bright, and it would have an extreme glow. So that's what we want. So then, after that, we are going to want to track it. Now you can adjust the, the settings yourself and mess with them even more if you want. But I think this looks pretty good as a lightsaber. You can make it red, you can make it green, you can make it yellow, purple, pink, whatever. You can do whatever you want. So that looks pretty good so far. So now I'm going to zoom in. Here. Then go back up to the hilt. And tip. Click these little circles on the hilt and tip's position. That will activate keyframes. Then we can keep this open if we want. But I'm going to go down to light sword. Go to hilt and tip. Open that up and you can see these two dots. Which means they've been keyframed. Then move, uh, actually I will turn off the light sword because it's easier to keyframe like this. Ooh, that really bothers me, let's bring that there. Um, then move by clicking here, or the period button, a few frames forward. One, two, three, four, five. I move five frames forward. Now adjust here and here. And keep doing this until you're at the end of the shot. So yeah, just gotta keep doing that oh yeah feel free to pause the video at any point to catch up or just go back and if you ever need any specific tutorials just email me at jacobdolicsec2 jacobdogsec2 at gmail.com and I will take your suggestions into consideration alright now I'm done tracking the entire scene so it might look a bit choppy well not really actually but it should completely track add the light sword and it might look a little bit more choppy as you can tell so click this round preview button or prefetch button if you're, use, if you're used to using a different software. Usually it's labeled prefetch, which means it, it like gathers all the data frame by frame to make a nice smooth preview instead of a choppy preview like you got earlier. Now that that's done, the smooth preview will look like this. Boom. And that is the simple and easy way to create a lightsaber effect in HitFilm Express. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. If you want me to do an episode on how to do a lightsaber coming out of a lightsaber, we will be using motion tracking there, and that will be done. Just comment or email me for that episode. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If this has been a helpful tutorial, please like and subscribe. And click on the notification bell for all my new gaming, tutorials, and live stream. So, yeah. I'll see you in the next video. Good. Bye.